if you are just joining us please refer back to the statistics um questions on uh, part one so that you can get the video from where it started now um we've we're trying to solve several questions on statistics likely math questions that are going to be coming up now if this is your first time of coming to this channel please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so that you can get updates from us now we're going to be solving approximately six to eight questions on statistics and if you follow us to the end of this video i can bet you you are going to get every questions on statistics right now the first one says um what is the range of the following set of numbers now if you followed at the part one of this video you will recall that we said range is what we said range is what highest number highest number minus lowest number okay so once you understand this fact the next thing you need to do is what is the highest occurring number here now let's look which number has the highest magnitude 20 30 10 25 20, 24 40 50 70 80 90 i can see 90 and there's no number higher than 90 subtract now what's the lowest number i've seen 10 let's check if there's any other number less than 10 the next is 50 so it's 10 so our range is going to be 90 minus 10 and the final answer is going to be what 80 so from here b it's my answer so i'm going to circle my b Okay, the next question says the age of six men in bracket in years in a particular village are 72, 84, 88, 74, 73, and 83. What is the average age? Now, remember we said another word for average is what? Average is the same thing as what? Mean. And what do you do when you look for average or your mean? You sum up the number 72 plus 84 plus 88 plus 74 plus 73 plus 83 all divided by the total number that's one two three four five six so you divide this by six now let's sum up our numbers okay so um this is going to be 72 plus um 84 this will give us six seven plus eight is 15 we we'll add up our 88 this is going to give us four We'll carry one 5 plus 8 is 13 plus 1 that's 14 so um that's 244 four, sorry so 5 plus 8 it's 13 plus 1 so that's 244 four. okay so the next one is uh we at 74 again so this is going to give us 8 this is 1 carry 1 this will be 318 we we'll at 73 this is going to be 1 carry 1 that will be 9 and 391 so we have 391 plus um 83 so this is going to give us 4 8 plus 9 it's um 7 you carry 1 and that's going to be 4 so this is going to give us um 474 divided by 6 now performing our long division 6 into 47 is going to give us um 7 whole number remainder 3 that's 42 so for 7 minus 42 is going to be um that's 5 6 and 54 is going to give us um 9 so this our final answer here it's nine and you can see d is the correct answer so as easy as this you can get the average of any number now question 49 says find the median remember i said when you hear median you recall what middle so if you don't understand the concept about median please go back to the part one of this video so it says find the median of the following set of numbers now the numbers we're giving are four three one five six four recall that i told you the first thing you need to do is what rearrange no, the number in ascending order so one comes first i'll cancel my one then um three comes next i'll cancel three then um four comes this four another four okay and five comes then six comes okay so let's check what's the middle so we have two we have two so the two numbers lies under this so what do i do here i'll do 4 plus 4 over 2 which is going to give me what 8 over 2 and that will give me what 4 so my median it's going to be 4 so i'll circle my b okay the next question says find the mode recall we said what mode is the highest occurring number or the number with the highest frequency 
Now, we've been given this set of numbers, 3.2, 3.1, 3.3, 3.1, 3.2, 3.4, 3.3, 3.1. Now, I've seen 3.1, I've seen 3.2, I've seen 3.3, and I've seen 3.4. So, this is our X. So, let's draw our table and call this our frequency. Now, 3.1 occurred, this is 1, 2, and 3. So, this is a frequency of what? 3. 3.2 occurred, 1 and 2. 3.2 is 2. Now, 3.3 occurred, 1 and 2. So, this is 2. And 3.4 is just 1. 1. So, that means, from here, which one occurred highest? It's this. So, 3.1 appeared, what? 3 times. So, our final answer here is E, which is 3.1. So, that's our mode. Okay, the next question says, if the mean of 2, 6, x, 8, and 3, and 7, it's 5, what is the value of x? Now, this is mean, that's average. That means that the 2 plus 6 plus x plus 8 plus 3 plus 7, all divided by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And the answer gave us what? 5. So, how do we find this? So, all you need to do is solve this equation. 2 plus 6 is going to give us 8. 8 plus 8 is going to give us 16. 16 plus 3 is going to give us 19. 19 plus 7, it's going to give us, uh, that's 19 plus 7 is going to give us 26. So, this is 26 divided by 6 is equal to 5. So, from this point, we cross multiply. 26 times 1, sorry, this is 26 plus x. Okay, so 26 plus x. Okay, times 1 is going to give us what? 5 times 6. So this is going to be 26 plus x is equal to what? 30. Therefore, from here, we collect like terms. x is going to be 30 plus 26 coming over will be what? Minus 26. And our answer is going to be what? 4. Okay, so 4 is our final answer. Now, to test it, you can put 4 here. And once you sum it up, divide by 6, you're going to get what? Your 5. Okay, this particular question says, find the sum of the median and the mode of the following set of numbers. Now, it says find the sum, so we are going to sum up the median and the mode. So, let's find the median. For the median, we are going to arrange them uh, in ascending order. So, we'll put um, uh, the lowest number here, it's um, 12. Okay, so 12 comes first. The next one is... Um, 13. How many 13 do we have? We have just one. Any other 13? No. Do we have 14? Yes. So, cancel 14 and put 14. Is there any other 14? No. So, um, for 15, we have 1. Um, we have 2. And there's none. So, for 16, we have um, 1. So, this 16. Any other one? No. So, the next one is going to be 17. So, we have the first one, we have the second one, and we have the third one. So, three 17s, 1, 2, and 3. So, do we have 18? We just have 1, 18, and 1, 19. So, this is 18 and 19. So, what's the middle? Let's count the first four. 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's count the four from here. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay? So, let's extend this is 5, this is 5, so this is our middle. As you can see, both from the right and from the left, our median is 16. Now, what is the mode? Remember we said mode is what? The highest occurring number. So which number occurred highest? 15 occurred twice, 17 occurred thrice. So our mode is 17. So when you sum up 16 plus 17, you are going to get what? 33 and that's our final answer so the correct answer here is c okay now in this question we have a table and uh, it's saying the table below is a frequency distribution of scores of some students in a test use the information to answer question 54 and 55 what fraction of students scored 55 now people that scored 55 are what four people that scored 40 is what two and so on so the fraction that scored 55, it's what? 4 
over the total, which is um, the total is 2 plus 4, that's 6. 6 plus 5, 11. 11 plus 2 is um, 13 plus 1, that's 14. So we have 4 over 14. And when you reduce this, this is going to give you 2 over 7. So our final answer here is 2 over 7. So the correct answer here is B. Now, the grand finale question. How many students scored at most 55? Now, at most... 55. This is a probability question. At most. At most. How many students scored at most 55? Now, what do you understand from the English at most? That means how many students scored up to 55? At most 55. So, in order to get the number of students that scored at most 55, that means some people scored above 55 but we want to get people that scored at most so we'll be measuring people who scored 55 and below so at most 55 is going to be what 4 that's 2 plus 4 which is going to give us what 6 so our correct answer here is C so um thank you for staying tuned as we solve um the statistics likely basic questions now, if this is your first time of hitting this channel, like I said, do not forget to click subscribe. Do not forget to like the video. Do not forget to comment if you want us to solve any topic for you. And please watch out for more videos on this channel.